Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review the SPY. The SPY is doing it. It is doing what I thought it would do all for the beginning of the year, except for here it is, it's February 25th, and we've fallen, not off a planet since the open of the year, but we really have fallen since the open of the year. I mean, we have. I have been calling the market higher, and we're finally doing it. Let's take a look at it. We opened the year here at 249. I had a big long lecture in the trading room today. I wish I would have taped it. It was a good lecture, but I'll try to go over it a little bit here now. What's going to happen is the market is going to continue higher. And as the move lifts higher, the 200 period moving average here is going to start to pull down. This will pull down as the market price lifts higher. It's going to pull down and flatten. And then as this moves higher, it's going to be a meeting of the minds. It should happen here. Well, I'd say 200, but if the rally happens fast, it could happen around 198, 199. But it's really this level in here. And, and look for significant buying to come into the market above this level. And we could get there sooner rather than later. Why? We gapped down yesterday, and I saw the gap down in the market yesterday, and I felt that we would hold. We really faked lower hard, though, but we held very quickly at 10 a.m. Set the low of the day at 10 a.m., rallied all day. Could have bought the market yesterday at a beautiful bullish move. Knew we'd gap up today. We did. However, I, I wanted us to gap up more. I want us to gap up more. It doesn't matter. We're rallying. And again, it looks like we have the low of the day. Put in again at 10 o'clock. Boom. Look at this little guy right in here, bounce off of it. You could you could go along the market right in here, actually, right now. I'm not going to do this, but you could. You could go along the market <clears throat> right now. Here it is, setting up on every time frame on the planet. Look at this. What I want to see us do is continue this all day today and into the gap tomorrow. Follow through today in the live day. Gap up tomorrow. Run and rally. Keep going have a three to five day rally here, which is what the market needs to do to get up to this number and prove, hello, I'm finally willing to go higher. It's gonna do it. I've said it all along. I know a lot of people question me because the way the market fell, but the market is still in the uptrend. So it was just a matter of time before it would say to everyone, here I am, and the time is coming now. This is a great buy point in the market. This is a great buy point in the market. And I did an email out a week ago, two weeks ago, with a spy trade call. This is a great, great, long here the market is a long and it's a good price to buy it because a lot of people don't see this yet however i see it how am i able to predict the movements in the market how is i able to even predict the market was higher when it did all this gobbledygook because i was reading the gaps i was reading the bearish gaps i was reading the bullish gaps i was reading every gap in here that the market did all along the way and since the time that we held in here and then gapped up one two three four days in a row i really felt like this is the end of the drop off we will not go back here, down here in Tesla, though. We're not going to do it. I, we didn't have to do it here, and we, and I didn't know we'd go down here, but look at this. I mean, we're not going to do it. We're not going to retest that area. And this isn't about picking bottoms or anything else like this. You're buying a bullish gap up in the market, and you could have been long anywhere in here. And and the market's just not as short, and it really was never been as short. I know you could have made money short in the market here, but it wouldn't have made any sense because why? You don't know when this thing is going to come in and start to blow the way that I've been predicting. So you go with the direction of the institutional money and the blow money, which is bullish, buying, higher, boom. So the look of this is going to come down. These two people will get married. This is the man. This is the woman. She will run up to him faster. She will run up to him. He will come down. They will get married here around 199, 198, 200. And then real buying start to come in and then look for the market to make a new high. And I don't know when that happens because I don't know how fast we do this. But what I want to see in an ideal world, it's a market to follow through tomorrow higher and have a big bullish day to close out Friday into what would normally be the end of the month, except for it's not because of leap year. Friday, uh, Monday's the end of the month, the 29th, but this is still going to run, I think, tomorrow and follow through. And we could gap up tomorrow or neutral. We could gap up. And I don't know where we close today, but we're going to hold strong. And we're already green in the day when we were red. Buying is coming in. Go with it. Go with it. Run to the Dickens. Have a great night, everyone. Email me if you'd like to sign up for the Golden Gap class. If you have any questions, email me too. How am I able to predict something like this that almost seems impossible and no one believe me, except for the people in the room that trade with me every day and see me call things that, that work out that no one can see but me. It's because of the gaps. This is not something beyond normal comprehension. I have a 26 point gap rating system. You learn it, you can do this too. I'm teaching people how to do it. I will say, though, the market was a tough call in here to see it hold and that it would still go higher, but we're doing it. I mean, we are doing it. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at thestockswoosh.com, melissa at thestockswoosh.com for more information. Have a great night.